What's up guys, you know what time it is. It's Friday, it's time for What The Fitness. This week, we are talking about somebody claiming that protein is not needed for gains. But first, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment for the algorithm. So this was on Digital Social Hour, which Sean Michael Kelly, the host of it, I think actually sent me this video and asked for my thoughts. So I said I'd do a video on it. Some people eat like 100, 200 grams of protein a day. You can debunk this myth yourself within three days. You go within to the gym on day one and you like do like- This guy's name is Ted Carr. So he's saying you don't need a lot of protein. You can debunk it in three days. Max bench press effort for like 12 reps, right? Yeah. And then it's like your max. And then you go three days just eating just fruit. Come back on day three or day four when you're fresh, you're not sore anymore. This time try to do 13 reps. You could probably do 13 reps. And all you've eaten is fruit over the past three days. So it's like as long as you can get stronger on fruit, that means you're building muscle on fruit. Oh, Teddy, um, somebody does not understand, uh, like anything. Building muscle mass is a slow process. Three days is going to tell you absolutely nothing. What three days will tell you, if you perform better on day three or day four, it will just tell you that you probably had some better sleep and are better recovered, and maybe you turned your music up a little bit louder if you did 13 reps instead of 12. Also, this is like a placebo effect as well, like just saying this, oh, you can try it yourself. So you go and you do 12 reps on bench press, now try 13. Well, guess what? You're more likely to do 13 because you have something to shoot for. By the way, you can get stronger without building muscle. Can you build muscle without eating a high protein diet? For sure. Are you going to build as much muscle as you would eating a high protein diet? Not based on the research data or not. This little three day experiment, I could do the exact same thing. I could say, well, you don't really need carbohydrate. I like to do what's called applying Symmetrical application of logic. He is invoking a certain logic, and therefore, I can symmetrically apply it to something that fits his bias. So let's take fruits. Fruits are super important for longevity, health, metabolic health, prevention of cardiovascular disease. But let's just say I did the same thing. So muscle building is very slow. It occurs over weeks and months and years. So, hey guys, try this. Measure HbA1c stop eating fruit. Come back in three days later and check it. It won't have gone up. <gasps> Therefore, you don't need fruit for metabolic health. Go get your LDL cholesterol done and stop eating fruit. Then three days later, check your LDL cholesterol. It hasn't gone up. Therefore, you don't need fruit. It's actually really easy when they use this asymmetrical application of logic because they completely paint themselves into a corner without actually realizing it. Because if we're gonna do it this way, if this is a reasonable test, then it also means it's a reasonable test for that thing that you do like. And this guy, Ted Carr, whatever, I don't know who it is. You do not pass go, you do not collect $200, you go straight to bro science jail. Actually, that's not even bro science, this is just pseudoscience nonsense. And may God have mercy on your soul. I'm out. 